I think it's a cool like conversation topic it because is. there are a lot of people in the community who say things but there's no action yeah my girlfriend tristan isn't even here this weekend so what am i doing sitting around watching a jeffree star video but anyways let's talk about a subject that came up which is called slacktivism is up everybody this is chris from the rewired soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution and if you're new to my channel my channel is all about mental health and sometimes what i do is i watch a youtube video i'm like huh that's a cool mental health topic let's make a video about it so i try to help you with your mental health based on some other stuff that you're probably already watching anyways so if you're into that kind of stuff make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell so yeah just watched this uh, Jeffree Star video where he did a collab with Cole, who is also a makeup artist. And I was like, there's a good point that was brought up in this and I think we should discuss it. Um, and this is something called slacktivism. But if you are somebody who complains or you know somebody who complains, like go ahead and share this video because uh, I've talked about it a little bit. I am going to do a full video about the neuroscience of complaining and how that actually screws up your brain. But this is a super important mental health topic because those of us who complain or do these things like slacktivism, we are actually hurting our own mental health. So it's something that we really need to look at and address. Before I jump into this, before I jump into this topic, can, like, can we take a second? Can we please just take a second to like, like look at how amazing Cole Kerrigan's like art is. Like this is like some phenomenal stuff. Like I'm not into like, you know, makeup and stuff like that, but like I just love art, you know? And he is doing a great job. And you know, they talk about in this video, if any of you haven't watched it, like just go ahead and check it out. Like it's really inspirational to me because Cole just started in January of this year and he's already like, you know, doing a collab with Jeffree Star, like, but he's putting in the work, he's putting in the work. I have a new video coming out soon, which is talking about some of this hustle and, you know, working hard to get the things that you want. So yeah, uh, a topic that comes up between Cole and Jeffree is slacktivism. And this is something that, uh, you know, I can definitely relate to. I can relate to. Like, if, if, you know, you wanna know how I improve my mental health, it's a bunch of little things. It's a million little things that I do every single day. Like, I am the type of person, I was the type of person who just sat around whining and complaining about so many things, but I wouldn't do anything about it. I would just sit around complaining, watching the news, looking on Facebook, seeing what other people were doing, and I would just complain about it constantly. But what was I doing? What was I doing? Was I lifting a finger? Like I have a new life philosophy where I refuse, I refuse to complain about anything unless I'm willing to do something about it. Just something, just a little, little something, all right? Because I am not going to be a slacktivist. I'm not going to be someone who just tries to throw out into the world and say, yo, I care about these things, look at me, but I'm not actually doing anything. So here is a clip where Jeffrey and Cole are actually talking about this. You know, and not that everyone has to put on, you know, smaller people, like it's someone's job, but if you're gonna talk about the beauty community mm -hmm. as being a certain way, let's start changing it. Yeah, and you know? I think it is really important for like you guys and just like bigger influencers to put smaller people on the map like that, especially since the beauty industry kind of is not crumbling, but it's going through some right now there's a big change there is a huge change and like i feel like all these big artists these big influencers they want to say to their huge platform hey i want to bring in smaller artists just to make it seem like they but care then they but then do. they never do yeah. it so yeah in the in the beauty community but also youtube as a whole or influencers whatever however you want to look at it this is a huge thing this is a huge thing so something i've been trying to do recently it's trying to help you learn how to be a better judge of character right and like you gotta watch people and see if their actions line up with their words because if not then they are falling into the category of something else I've been talking about, which is virtue signaling. Just trying to show people, look, I'm a good person because I think about these things. Like, just thinking about something doesn't do squat. Like, until you take an action, that's nothing. So, what Jeffrey and Cole are talking about, there's so many people out there, and it's YouTubers in general that I've noticed, that always talk about like, oh yeah, we need to start 
building up smaller creators and doing this and that and smaller artists, but they don't do squat. So real quick, I do want to throw, um, you know, some props to Makeup Geek. Um, she said that she was going to do this and she has been promoting smaller creators. There's something that Jeffrey's doing as well. He's bringing up smaller creators, having them on his channel, and he's researching and actually doing this, which is absolutely awesome. Like something I'm talking about in a video that's coming out pretty soon is we get so worried about what we're going to get. We're always worried about what we're going to get, what we're going to take, right? So like in the these instances, Jeffrey isn't worried so much like, oh, how many how many new subscribers or how many sales can he get by having Cole on his channel? No, he's just thinking like, okay, cool, let's put Cole on my channel so more people can be exposed to him. So like, this is important. Like some of you know, I follow a guy by the name of Gary Vaynerchuk and he talks about this, right? He talks about how he does a lot of things for free and not for money, right? Just because they're a good thing to do. But one of the issues like, you know, with the world and with, you know, a lot of people is they only want to do something if they're getting something in return, right? So that's why a lot of these people are what we call slacktivists or they just complain about things because they're like, oh, well, I'm not really getting anything return. Like, not everything is about you having to get something. Like, you can look on Twitter. You can look on Twitter on any given day, any given hour, and you will constantly see YouTubers. You will constantly see the YouTubers that you follow. They're like, hey, tell me about some small creators, right? And then, like, I watch, I follow, like, I look and study people because I try to be a good judge of character. Like if you wanna know why why I don't have friends who hurt me or let me down or backstab me, it's because I'm looking at all these things. So I see so many YouTubers out there who are saying, recommend small creators to me. And then they do nothing with it. They do absolutely nothing with it. They don't tweet out videos, they don't ask for collabs, they don't share any of these things. So like, do they have to? No, but it is slacktivism if you're saying like we need to support smaller creators and then you're not doing anything with it right like you're just throwing out the signal and you're not doing anything with it so like i'll tell you a quick story like this is actually you know a real story about how i stopped following somebody so when bobby burns had his uh mental health breakdown you know months ago and he went to new york and this was when him and jordan were still together like this topic of mental health blew up for like a day on YouTube. And I saw a bunch of people on Twitter, like other YouTubers saying, YouTube, we gotta do something. YouTube, we gotta do something and talk more about mental health. We gotta do something and talk more about mental health. And one of my favorite creators, one of my favorite creators, I had absolutely no problem replying to his tweet and saying, look, you're talking a big game right now, but I can't think of one time I've seen you share a mental health channel. And I linked him to a bunch of different me mental health channels. Like, I think I included mine in there, but I also like linked like Bipolar Pug and Ryan Liberty and Authentic Mental Health and some other channels. So like, watch these people, like watch what they're saying and what they're actually doing. Because I ended up like unfollowing this guy on social media for a while because like, I don't, I can't, I can't mess around with people who try to act like they care, but they don't do anything about it. So please, 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 like this is going to help you with all of the relationships in your life. Like all of them, right? This can help you with your coworkers, with your friends, with your families. Like do they just sit around and talk about things and say like, oh, it would be a great idea to feed the homeless, right? Or we should do this, or we should do that. Like just sitting around, talking about all the great things you could do, but not doing them is a huge issue. I've mentioned this before and I'm going to do more videos on, on this. The, the midterm elections are coming up in some of your states, they already have early voting. Like how many of us sit around complaining about things, but not even going out there to vote? Like it blows my mind that you have like probably, I'd say, 80 to 90% of people complaining about things, but look at voter turnout rates, right? Like think about it, because if you're not part of the solution, you are part of the problem. And this is just, take this with a grain of salt. This is my opinion. Like if you wanna sit there and, and say like, oh, my vote doesn't matter, my vote doesn't count, then like that's on you. But like I said, for me, for my mental health, I refuse to complain about anything unless I'm going to do something about it. So if I have a problem with, uh, with laws, with regulations, with mental health care, with any of these things. Like, if I don't go out there and vote, then I'm part of the problem. So like, if you're hanging around people who do this, like, start cutting these people out of your life. Like, I hope, I hope one of your goals going into 2019 is trimming out the fat of your life, right? Just one by one, nixing out uh, people. Like, this is a great, a great New Year's resolution. But it all starts with starting to um, recognize what people are talking about and what people are actually like doing, right? So try to hang around people who not only talk the talk, but they walk the walk. But this is also
also to help you. Like so many of us, we just look around at other people and we judge them. That's why I pull in different YouTubers and uh, stories that are going on in pop culture because it's so easy for us to sit around and judge everybody. But like what I had to do was I had to start looking at myself like, oh wow, am I doing that too? Like it's really easy. It's really easy for me to sit around and complain and judge other people. But like, what am I doing? And to be honest, one of my biggest fears is being a hypocrite, all right? So if I'm judging somebody for something else, what am I doing? Am I doing the same thing? Because like when I actually wrote some stuff down, I saw a lot of things that I didn't like about other people. I was doing the exact same stuff, right? So like I would be complaining about this person lying to me, but I was lying to other people in my life. You know what I mean? I would complain about that person being lazy in one aspect of their life, but I was being lazy in other aspects of my life. You see what I mean? So like I hope that you're, you're understanding what I'm saying. Like don't just run around talking about these things. Like put in the work do something about it, right? Like, that's why I always say we talk about the problem, but, but focus on the solution. Like, you are subscribed to the wrong channel, the wrong channel, if you just wanna come to my channel and in the comments, just talk about your problems and have no action steps. That's one of the reasons I started the Facebook group and I see the people in there who want to do something and want to improve. They are not being slacktivists. They are not just complaining. They are putting in the work and doing something about it. Like, Tristan and I were just talking about this. Like. I don't ask for much. I'm not telling you to go out there and do everything. I just want you to do one thing. One thing, anything, I don't care what it is. Any little thing, right? Like the fact that I've asked, I've seen people in the comments over the past week complaining about things and I say, here, join our Facebook uh, group and they're like, nah, I don't do Facebook. Like I'm just letting you know, if you're one of those people, your complaints go in one of my ears and poof, right out the other. I don't have time for that, all right? But anyways, I wanna make this about you, not everybody else in your life. What are things that you have complained about in the past or currently, but you haven't done anything about? And what are you going to do about it, okay? So let's have a conversation down in the comments below. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon, you're all amazing. If you would like to help support the channel and help me spread a message, of hope when it comes to mental health click or tap on that icon right there all right thanks so much for watching quit complaining unless you're gonna do something and i'll see you next time